Okay, now I want to take a little bit more advanced look at uh, a rhythm and muting technique. But you can be uh, a beginner to intermediate player and still apply this. Um, and let me show you what I'm talking about. <coughs> uh, when you mute, like if you're going get, to get funky on a guitar. <coughs> It's not always with a flat tire. That's a rhythmic thing. Not every you know, groove that you're going to be playing to really calls for that flat tire feel. But the same type of technique is used <laughs> Now, let me show you what I'm doing. I want to break this down. Let's look at kind of like just in the middle of the neck, the key of A, and on our third string. I'm going to start with my first finger. What I'm doing is I'm muting. And again, I want you to do not underestimate what I'm getting ready to tell you. When you're starting to really develop some, some nice right hand technique, you've got to get comfortable holding the pick. That may sound ridiculous, but I promise you it's not. I come at the, at the guitar with just a fierceness. Uh, my fingernail does not grow on my first finger. I'm, I'm really hitting this thing. So my pick is an extension of my first finger. Hence, I tend to turn it around to the you know, not to the pointed side. So it's an extension. So when I'm playing, I want to be able to play all different kinds of rhythms, not dropping my pick. And just like if I were playing air drums, you know, if you're listening to a song, nobody's around, you know, sometimes you get crazy and, you know, act like you're playing drums. We've all been, <laughs> you know, uh, guilty of that, or we've all done that. Uh, and someone walks in the room and immediately we, s we stop. That's the same type of thing that happens, especially if you're uh, a, a newer player or if you're learning a technique like this. Once you start thinking about rhythm, you tend to lose the groove. So I want to show you uh, a couple of practice tips with, you know, that'll help you not just develop the style, but help you gain freedom, freedom with, with rhythm, okay? Now, we're going to take just one note. We're going to be ready to play that note here in just a second. Mute everything. Work on just beating out rhythms with your right hand. Just literally take five or ten minutes a day and just play with this, especially if this is new to you. Then, almost like Morse code, we're going to start pushing the note down that we want to ring. <laughs> My first finger is pushing down as need be. So I find that when students are trying to play rhythms, they're chasing the rhythm. They're trying to chase the groove instead of letting it come to them. If you can mute things, play a nice rhythm with your right hand, and then make it come to life with what you start noting with your left hand, that is the key to success with this. Then you can start doing this with all of the notes in your scale. But you have to be able to mute and just push the note down as needed to create the rhythm that you want to create. When we start implementing these into the songs, we'll look at this, you know, in a little bit deeper fashion for sure. But for learning how to do this and prepping yourself to be able to implement, take your pentatonics. Mm -hmm. 
one note at a time and play with just that one note creating a groove a pattern then the next note you can go through the whole scale or you can just hang on one note you can expand it Okay, so that covers the left and right hand muting and rhythm technique, being able to cover yourself and make your rhythms come to life. There you go.